The next element we're going to cover in Excel 2010 is how to make an embedded chart. A nice looking chart that actually gives a very good visual representation of data associated in our particular case with this table. The nice thing about a chart is you can just glance at it and you can tell what's going on. You don't actually have to go and dig into the numbers. I'm going to show you how to give the labels, how to give the nice title, and how to give the appropriate look for what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete. This is what our, our end product should look like. I'm going to go ahead and delete this end product and we're going to start from scratch. So basically the first thing you have to determine is what do you actually want to get from this chart? What do you want to put in this chart? In our case, we actually would want to put what we have within our table, including putting the labels that are available to us for the months and for the individual widgets and eventually also a title. So this is very important that you do it this way. It's very important that you have the cells formatted properly so that you can have the embedded chart appear in the correct manner. But basically, I need to choose the data I want to come out in the chart. So I'm basically going to choose this whole section. This includes the numbers within my table, and this also includes the labels associated with the table as well. We're not going to worry about the title widget production right now. We'll add that later. So now that I've chosen what I actually want to put in the embedded chart, and you need to do this before you actually go to actually create the chart, I go to the insert column, and I go here, and these are our charts. And we have a whole bunch of charts available to us, anywhere from column to line to pie to bar, area, etc. And feel free to play with any of these that you want, but I'm basically going to deal with a column chart. And I'm going to show widget production through this column chart. So I'm going to choose a 3D column. And when I left click on this, it's going to go ahead and give me a chart. Now I can go and I can go ahead and move this to the right. I also want to make it a little bit smaller. And be aware that you can move the chart anywhere you want later on. But I'm sort of want and notice we already have our labels. We already have widget one, widget two, widget three, and widget four for the months of December, January, February, and March. So we just need to add a few more things. We're going to actually change the chart layout, and we're also going to change the design as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this chart layout. It's my favorite, actually. And at this point, I can go and actually add a chart title. Since it puts it on there for me, and I'm going to go ahead and put widget production. So now I have a nice chart. Now I'm actually going to actually change the layout of the chart, the way it looks, the theme, so to speak. I'm going to go ahead and choose this style. And notice how quickly we have a nice chart. Very quickly, we have a nice looking chart. We have all the elements in place. Notice I'm going to give you a little extra tip here. On this chart, if you look at it, it's actually concentrated on individual months, like how many widgets were produced in December, how many widgets were produced in January, how many widgets were produced in February, and how many widgets were produced in March. We can change the focus over here up the top where it says switch row and column. Go ahead and click it then. Look what happens. When you click on that, Notice the focus now becomes on the individual widgets in this case. We're looking at how many total widgets in December, January, February, and March. So it's, the focus is on widgets versus the months. If we go back and switch to the row column, notice the focus is now on the months versus the widgets. That's just another little uh, hint to you to maybe assist you. So feel free to play around with it. Notice it also does show me what's included in this chart. And notice how if we do change numbers in here, the numbers are also changing the chart, so it is interactive. So the simplest way to make a chart is to have your data ready, have your table ready, and choose the data and labels before you actually go to insert the embedded chart. We'll have more on some other aspects of Excel later.